Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.05 p.m. on Monday, February 8th, 2021. And we're going to go straight to the, uh, the warning and the forecast for uh, California. Uh, to tell you the truth, I haven't seen anything like this. We're a, a very strong signal. We have different uh, forecast models. And uh, over the last, well, on, on January 16th, we had one of the models was a very strong signal. And uh, we didn't, we, well, we got a 3.5 in, uh, in Los Angeles. But that was a very strong signal. And then again, on January 19th, an extremely strong, uh, strong signal on another model. In fact, it was the strongest signal I've ever seen in California. So that was uh, in the last 15 years. So, and then nothing happened with that. It's been a very, very strange situation in the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, 4.6 happened on this peak here, 3.5 on this peak, 3.5 on this one, and this one here. Now this uh, peak is coming up on the 9th late on the 8th into the 9th. And I expect this to trigger uh, this risk that has been building across Southern California. Uh, it might not, but this is the strongest uh, triggering peak that I've seen uh, during the last uh, couple months here. So this should trigger what uh, the quake down in Southern California. Here's the warning again, 7.0 earthquake is likely in Ridgecrest or near the Salton Sea. So you can see in this, uh, in this graph on the bottom here, we have uh, cities all across uh, from Washington, Idaho. Uh, we have Great Falls, Montana, Missoula, Montana, Spokane, Seattle, Portland, Eureka, California. And these are all, and we have Nevada in here, Elko, Nevada, Reno, Nevada. These are all cities across the Western United States. And the highest risk right now is in uh, Ridgecrest and El Centro near the Salton Sea. So this quake should happen down in that area. We are actually getting some, uh, let's go look at that real quick right now. We are getting some uh, foreshocks. Let's see, last time I checked it was 18. Uh, oh, there's, 21 now. So there's a there's a swarm of quakes down near the Salton Sea. And this is where the quake should hit, either in, in that area, and there's also another swarm down here, which has 21 earthquakes in that one as well, uh, near Ocotillo, just west of El Centro. So either there or near the Salton Sea is where this quake should hit. Also, the Ridge, uh, Ridgecrest is another uh, high-risk area too. So either Ridgecrest or El Centro, looking for a strong earthquake during the next uh, 24 hours. Uh, I believe there's another signal coming up on the 10th that might be a little stronger, but it should happen uh, late tonight into tomorrow morning when this uh, peak um, hits its maximum here in the, on, on the 9th. So look for that strong earthquake in Southern California tonight into tomorrow. And let's just check uh, around the globe and some of the other forecasts we have. We have a Tokyo forecast. And uh, the risk now is at about 67%. And the highest risk is up in near uh, Sapporo, which is in Hokkaido, and then far northern Japan and Sendai. And uh, we've gotten a couple uh, significant earthquakes up in that area. Let's see. Yeah, there's a 5.0 and a 4.5 just east of Sapporo. And that is right here. Sapporo and Sendai, that's the highest risk. And uh, the risk is climbing. The 60% is usually about a, a, a 4.0 to 4.5. 80% is about a 5.0. And 100% maximum here, a 5.5 or larger is possible. So right here, about a 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in the highest risk area <clears throat> in Sapporo and Sendai. All right, let's check the uh, forecast. We also have a uh, forecast in, uh, in Greece, Athens, Greece. This also now includes, um, well, Istanbul, Turkey, and Italy. 
And you can see here, there's a bunch of cities across the bottom here. And here's Naples, Istanbul, and here's Bologna and Milano, Zagreb, Croatia is also in there. So 4.0 is possible during the next 24 hours in either Bologna or near Zagreb, uh, Croatia. And the overall risk is like, like I said, around 60%. So that's about a 4.0 is possible in either Bologna, Italy, or Zagreb, uh, Croatia. All right, let's take a look at the uh, Central America forecast. And that includes quite a few cities from all the way from Mexico City down to uh, Bogota, Colombia. The highest risk right now is in the Nicaragua, Panama area. But the, you can see on the top here, though, the overall risk is not all that high. So 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in uh, Nicaragua or Panama area. By the way, this uh, here, when it reached 100%, there was a 5.6 uh, in Northwest Panama. And this produced a 4.7 off of El Salvador. Let's go look at the quakes real quick near um, Nicaragua right now. I'll just have one there just uh, south of Nicaragua, and here's one south of Panama. So our risk is for Nicaragua and Panama, but most likely about a 4.0 to 4.5 during the next 24 hours because the overall risk is not all that high. Once more in uh, Los Angeles, the big mystery state, and we have a bunch of other cities now here from in Washington. Uh, we have Portland, Oregon, and we have uh, Idaho and Montana. And the highest risk out of all those cities is down in Ridgecrest and El Centro near the Salton Sea. And we have a strong trigger here on the 9th. So that should produce at least a 4.0. But we're looking for a stronger quake because we've had a lot of strong signals coming out of Southern California. So we're going for a warning of a 7.0 earthquake is likely in Ridgecrest or the Salton Sea on the 9th and maybe the 10th. We have another signal coming in on the 10th as well, and we'll get more details on that tomorrow. So thanks for watching here at quickprediction.com. Be aware of that if you live down uh, in Ridgecrest, the Salton Sea, Palm Springs, down to El Centro, in that area. A strong earthquake is uh, possible during the next 24 hours in that area. We'll try to give you another update tomorrow night. Otherwise, stay safe. And uh, we will talk to you tomorrow. God bless.